All right, we're going to talk some pl- about some players that are going to get a boost to their fantasy value during the NFL draft. But before we do that, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channels so you can see more videos just like this one to help you with your fantasy season. All right, Kyle, who's your first player that's going to get a boost during the draft? The first player is Justin Herbert. And it, it, it almost seems a little bit obvious that they're going to draft some somebody for him to throw to. But I know there's also a lot of people out there that have Justin Herbert in their dynasty leagues and aren't 100% sure what to do with him. And I think, you know, if you've got him and you want to try to trade him to upgrade, I understand that if you're panicking a little bit. But with them drafting some help in this draft, I think he stays in the top 10 of dynasty QBs. Yeah, he drops a little bit, um, you know, below like maybe a Caleb Williams but he's still a top 10 guy. I think he'll still get the job done for your fantasy squad if you're focused on other positions. Um, so I think from where he's at right now with no receivers, <laughs> I think he gets a little boost on the draft. I agree. I mean, there's only you can only go up from here, right? Like you said, he has no receivers with Mike Williams and Keenan Allen being gone. Um, yeah, he's got a little familiarity with Palmer there still, um, but he needs – they need some help there. So once they get him a little help, they're already helping him in the backfield a little bit. I know they got rid of Austin Eckler, but they already weren't using him too much last year. Uh, They've now signed J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. So they'll have a pretty strong uh, running back duo there, and then that should open up the pass for him. He already finished number 17 QB last year, which doesn't sound great, but when you – take into account that he missed the final four games completely and the game where he got hurt, he barely played at all throwing nine passes before getting hurt. So uh, he, he didn't play a ton there at the end and still finished as a QB two. So not horrible. I think, yeah, he's probably still a top 10 dynasty, uh, but he was so highly touted early on his career. Definitely got it taper that off a little bit you know he's not he's not high up there in the top five like early in his career when people were touting that so um and and, you know his first year he finished ninth overall the second year he finished second overall so he's had some good seasons but Mm -hmm. he he won't get back there again with the weapons that he has in offense that he's probably gonna be running with hardball that was my next point yeah i was gonna say the same thing just running that offense with hardball i think will We'll keep those points down a little bit because they're going to want to run the ball. Exactly. All right, who's the second player? All right, number two is Scary Terry, Terry McLaurin. You know, they're expected to draft a QB with their top pick, and whether it's Drake May or Jaden Daniels, doesn't matter. It's an upgrade over Sam Howell, who isn't there anymore anyways. But if either of those guys are half of what they're projected to be, this is going to be the best QB that he's played with in his career there in Washington. And I'm excited to see, you know, what that provides for my fantasy team. He's got potential to be like a top 12 receiver in real life. The dude's magical, but he can't get a QB that can pump fantasy points his way. I think with a new guy at QB, I think he could start returning more this year for you, but If you've got him in Dynasty, hold tight, because in another year after his rookie QB gets a little experience under his belt, he can make a play for the top, man. He'll be a little bit older, but he'll be worth it. Yeah, Terry McLaurin is a fantastic wide receiver and still the wide receiver one on that team. Everyone all going crazy about Jahan Dotson. Get that out of your mind. It is still scary Terry on that team. And like you said, if they get him a quarterback that can throw a ball worth a damn, uh, then he's going to be fine. Un- unfortunately, in my mind, scary Terry is a lot like DK Metcalf. Fantastic athlete. but that doesn't necessarily translate into a uh, huge fantasy production regularly. He has never finished as a wide receiver one. In his career, which is mind boggling because he's fantastic when he's playing. Right. So um, it's a little bit weird, but I think he's a 
fantastic, very top tier wide receiver too on your team with potential. Like you said, if he gets that quarterback, because he's never really had a great quarterback at the same time, if he gets a good passing quarterback, they can get him the ball. He has potential to jump into that wide receiver one tier. Absolutely. And he's underrated. So you could probably get him at a pretty decent price. 100%. Yeah. Dude, go buy him now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Who's your third player likely to get a boost during the draft? All right, man. My last guy here is Ramondre Stevenson. And he's another guy you can go get really cheap right now because he's coming yep. off of an, an underwhelming season. And, you know, again, they're expected to draft a QB with their top pick whichever guy Washington doesn't draft. I think having an actual quarterback and a passing game that defenses have to respect even a little bit is going to help open up lanes for Mondre Stevenson. And that's even with the new signing of Antonio Gibson. Yeah, he'll take some catches away. He'll be involved in the passing game. But Ramondre Stevenson is a great pass-catching running back too. So he's still going to get a handful of, of catches a game. But I think it lends itself to him being a more efficient runner, more efficient with his touches when he's not running into stacked boxes every single down. I agree. I think the quality over quantity is about to come into play here. And um, like I said, he's a great pass catcher, so love that. If they can get him a quarterback that can pass him the ball. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, Ramadre Stevenson, very versatile, being able to run and catch. And I agree. I think you can get him really low in price right now because he did have a down season. He finished number 35 running back. Um, people kind of look at that. They don't look at, oh, he didn't play the last six games of the season, essentially. Um, so they're thinking about how Zeke came in and did well, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. Go get this guy while you can, because I think after draft night, or even especially once the season starts up, his value is just going to keep going up. Right now in everyone's mind is the end of last season and that they just got Antonio Gibson. And so they're kind of his his value is down route right now. But after that draft, I think he's going to get a big boost. Yep, absolutely. 